so it makes that coffee mm, different. Uh, best place I went for coffee was Germany. Mm, and you smell the coffee, they grind, they grind the coffee beans, roast them. Roasted coffee and grind them up. <gasps> Lovely smell. Co you smell that coffee. And it's like you've just eaten something because it makes you feel mm, you've had something to eat. It's good, very, very good smell. Aroma, not smell, aroma. 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 Not, not to be confused with that perfume. Smell perfume. Yeah, it's a different word. You can say aroma. That comes from tea, coffee, right? something that smells um, food, food wise. Farewell. 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 Oh, aroma? Right. Flavour. Right. What do you want, American or English? Right. English is flavour. American flavour. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Americans will say flavor. I don't know why. They have to be different. But they spell, spell the word different. Doesn't matter. You can write it in English or American English. Yeah. yeah. Flavor, flavor. For taste, taste. Aroma for smell. Mmm. Smell the aroma. Also from flowers as well, right? You get aromatic, aromatic smell. And tobacco, smoking, right? Not, not cigarette though, a pipe. A pipe or a cigar will have an aroma, aroma. You can smell, you can smell a cigar. <sighs> right, different, different cigarette. Not very good. But uh, aroma, yeah, you can smell that from a cigar. Do you like? 
You set a yellow one, yellow taxi, all right, and then there's the red one. There's a red taxi, but not every area has has that different colour. Yeah, yellow and green, yellow and green. That's I think that's the common one. There are many yellow and green taxis, and you can see them at Mochi. Uh, at the airport, many, many taxis. Yeah. But blue, light blue. See, a light blue colour. A light blue colour looks nice. People might say, oh, nice taxi. Like that colour. Oh, green. <laughs> so, the different colours people say, oh, I'll take that taxi. But normally, you don't look at the driver. Too late, you get in the taxi. <gasps> Horrible driver, right? You don't know until he drives off how good a driver is he. Ooh. So you take a chance, you get in a taxi. It's a chance that you take. It's a risk. A risk. So would you use taxi all the time? Some of the time? Emergency, for an emergency. Or a special, special time. Like when I go to Wollong Pong, let's get a taxi. It's not far. It's not far. I get to the railway station. I to go to um, Malaysia. So I just don't care really about the taxi itself, right? Because it's it's just a short journey. A short journey. If you're going on a long journey, like outside of Bangkok, so you want to go to um, uh, Kanchanaburi, <laughs> All right, yeah, or somewhere like Nakhon Patong, yeah, these are all in the, well, outside Bangkok, but within, within, the, within the range, or you want to go to Samut Sakong, Samut Prakam, yes, Samut Song Kram, <laughs> yeah, I get mixed up the two. Some Sukhum or some of some Krum or something like that. Because yeah. there used to be a railway. A railway went from Wong Bian Yai to some of some Krum and it stopped. Because it crossed over a river and they took the, took the bridge away. So the railway's not been used a long, long time. But I've got a map of Bangkok and it shows the railway. That's good, going all the way, going all the way down to some of the crown. Yes. So, taxi service, pass it, pass it. Yeah, it could, could do with improving. Right. But there's too many taxis. That's what they say in Bangkok, too many. Right, now, what about the subway system? Good, yeah. Fast, well, not, not say fast, reliable. Reliable service every four minutes, I think it is. So, sky train and subway. Yeah, we, they're, both, they're both linked to each other. Sky train and subway, subway yeah. Because they're, they're both providing a service. One's underground, right? And one's up in the air. Yes. I prefer BTS. Because you can look out, see places. <laughs> so it's, it's nice when it's up in the air. Um, and the special, the special service to the airport. The airport link. I think they call it the airport link. Yeah. Express link or something like that. Airport link. Yeah. One goes Makassan and the other one comes down further, but almost to Siam yes. on, the, on the sky train. But they're not linked, it's not separate, it's a separate rail. Crazy, really, it should all be linked up. Why didn't BTS have a, have a 
Gloves, Sky Train, Link. Yes. So you've got to get off and go to another station to get the express uh, airport service. Mm. But it's still cheaper than a taxi. Mm. Very good, fast, clean, safe. Yes, that's what you've got to think of now. Cleanliness, safety, and it's regular. And, hmm, so it's, the price has gone up now. Yeah, and I think they put the price up for Skytrain and probably Metro to increase the price. Tra travel costs will go up. Alright, so subway system, alright, train system. We'll put those two together. But the train system, railway. The railway. Mm, SRT. Not, not got very good publicity. Old, old trains, old track. Not very safe. Not very safe. If you're travelling by train, you need to book your ticket early and make sure you've got somewhere to sleep, right, in the train to um, Malaysia, right, when I go. So book it early. One month before you leave, you book early. Otherwise, you leave it late and you'll get a top, top bed. And it's not that comfortable. And if you care, you'd have to be careful because it's, you hit your head on the ceiling, yeah, you just, <laughs> You've got the roof of the train, and if you're in the top bunk, you have to be careful. You might hit your head on the train. All right for me, right? Small, small people, right? But to anyone who's tall, it's not easy. It's not easy. Not very comfortable. Now, the bus, bus system. We've been talking about the bus system. You don't think it's very, very good, bus? Oh, it's, it's good. But it's not very good. Right? I just say it's good. It's a good. Uh, there's plenty of buses. Or for us, for us, Sharon Conroe, there's plenty of buses. Yeah, so we're, we're all right. Some places outside of um, Bangkok or on the edge, on the edge of Bangkok, might might have a, a very good. Um, Service, so it might be one bus. Yes, well, it might be that the little green bus. You remember the little green bus? Horrible bus. But <laughs> they took them out of Bangkok Centre, but I think they moved them outside. So they're out, they're out on like the Mimbri area and places like that, outside of outside of the centre of Bangkok. And buses, hmm, different buses, different types of um, comfort. Uh, comfortable bus, the air bus, right? the, the brown colour bus, right? um, sandy, sandy colour, a sandy colour, the colour of sand, that bus will be light, light brown, sandy brown, dark brown, and the red, the red and white bus is uncomfortable. No air condition, right? but a fan, it's got a fan. Well, it should have, but no, I don't think they've got fans, that red one. You open the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, in, hot, in hot weather, they can be very, very uncomfortable. So there are mini, mini bus, not a mini, no, a mini. Middle, 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 middle. So you've got a mini bus, a mini bus, mini bus, mini bus, maxi bus, big, a maxi bus, a mini bus, mini bus, maxi bus.
Right, so the bus is not, not excellent. Nothing is excellent. I think they shouldn't use that word. Very good. Yeah. We, we don't need to talk about something excellent. What is excellent? Uh, a room, a room in a hotel. Uh, which hotel? Right. Five star. Five star room must be mm, excellent. Yeah. Right. And uh, the Oriental Hotel. The service. Excellent. Uh, but very good. Very good service. I've not been in there. I've not been there. I go to a, I hope if I go to a hotel the um a word, budget, a budget hotel, alright, or a guest house. Yeah, get get the um a guest house in Malaysia, alright. A guest house. In that in that street in, in Malaysia, in Penang. Yeah. And yeah, they have a lot of um, a lot of guest houses, some ho uh, hotels, yes. But I'm not going for a holiday. I'm going to get a visa. I'm not interested in oh, luxury and comfort. Some in a sleep, some they safe. All right, mm -hmm. and that's that's about four four hundred, just over four hundred bar for a room. What do you mean? But you get, uh, yeah, it's 40, 40 ringgit. 400 Thai baht. Yeah, it's 400 baht, yeah, it's about 10, 10, the exchange rate, yeah. So it's, it's good value, but you depend on your room. Now you want a room with a shower in it, you have to pay more. So it starts at 4, it's gone up, it, it went up, last time I went, Prices up. So it used to be 350, 35, 35 ringgit. So now it's gone up mm, because of the costs. Everything in the world, pricing has mm. has gone up. Yeah. We, we, we want these uh, we want these services. Oh, and that bus ticket. Right. This bus ticket. Right. Before we used to have a monthly a weekly or a daily bus ticket on certain buses. See, this is not expensive. So we got rid of those other tickets. The good tickets, well that lasted you one month, one week or one day. Yeah, they got rid of those. Too expensive. <laughs> that is not expensive. A bit of paper. A bit of paper. <laughs> So if you go, you go to, um, let me see, we go to uh, Malaysia, right, when we go to Malaysia, we get a, see if we've got a bus ticket here, use your cab, that's the, that's the ticket, look at the size of it, different, compared, mm, Bangkok, Good yeah, <laughs> Bangkok, right, and, Buses. All the buses will use this. Uh, yeah. One, one. That's ten. Yeah, that's fourteen. Fourteen bar. Um, that, that takes me uh, hmm, quite a distance actually. Is it important? And this one is uh, eight bar. Right. <laughs> yes. So it's good. Like ticket. See. One very thing and not expensive. The ticket is not expensive. But that one looks expensive. Yeah, that is nice. You can write on it. If someone, someone you meet, uh, you need a bit of paper to write a telephone number or a person's name or they tell you somewhere to go and visit. You can write it on the back of that ticket. <laughs> right, yeah, so it's, so it's, it's useful. Some information on there. Write, write some information. Right. So if your name's uh, if 
your name is Baby, right? Yes. Maybe. Yeah, there's a song about it. Here's my number. Call me Maybe. You hear that song? Mm -hmm. Listen to music. Listen to music here. Yeah. Here's my number. Call me Maybe. But one of my students, her name is Maybe. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow evening I'll teach and her name's Baby. I said, Maybe? And made a song about it. She said, yes. And she knew, she knows the song as well.
and it's a big area, a big area of land just for Asiatic people to park their car. I don't think it's practical. If they had put multi-storey, so you can put your car, it wouldn't take up so much room. That's a nice area, they could make a football, a volleyball court there, a football, seven aside, football pitch. Something a little sporty, have a sporting club attached to the Asiatic, Asiatic sports arena. Yeah, so these are useful things, helpful. I don't want to go to a national stadium. <laughs> I could go down to the Asiatic and watch and watch um, volleyball. Yes, so, so volleyball is popular. Yes, because it's interesting, and the Thai ladies volleyball team do it very well, and the Thai ladies football team doing well. Use that area, utilize that area instead of making it into a car park. A big area. So I can walk down there now and it's empty. People won't start to come in until what, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock. Just for a car to park it. No, they should have they should have had a better idea, a better idea for parking. Mm. Still? That's it. This is this is business people. Okay, and facilities for pedestrians. Like a footbridge. Instead of crossing the road, pray as you walk across the road. <laughs> you don't know. No, you've got to be very careful crossing the road. But footbridges, why not have more footbridges? But it's safer. So they've got one, they've got one in, in Channel Corner at the next pier. The next pier, oh, what prayer Kai? This is what Warachan pier, a pier, stop for the ferry, for the river boat. What prayer Kai is the terminus for the ferry boat. So the bus, uh, Ferry stops there and then back up to um, Nanta Berlin. Yeah. But they've got a footbridge at Prayer Kai, so that's good. We should have more. We need to have more footbridges so we can cross the road without. Yeah, it's dangerous, it is dangerous for pedestrians. So I think pedestrian facilities, mm, not very good could do with improvement. They need improving. They could do with improvement. So improving, improvements, lots of... Uh, a subway. A subway. We've got subways for the train. What about going down? Because when you cross the road, that Ducitani, at the top of um, Sea Level, Right. Yeah, you can walk under the road now before. <gasps> very dangerous. Trying to cross the road into Lumpini Park. <laughs> very dangerous, yes. So it used to be very busy. It still is, it's still busy, but you don't see it because you walk down using the subway. Yes, and so get through to Lumpini Park. So that's very safe. Very, very safe. I like it. Yeah. But they didn't plan it. They didn't plan it for pedestrians. That's planned for people who are using the rail, BTS and the yeah, SkyTrain and the Metro to get to work or whatever. It wasn't. It wasn't planned deliberately to get people to walk across the road to get to Lumpini Park safely or get to the hospital. Get to um, the big hospital. Oh, yes. Yeah. So these are good. And at Huang Pong. Now you cross the road, Sharon Kung Road, Huang Pong Station. Now you go through.
through the subway. Yeah, so that's an